All righty then. I'm just playing around here because what we're doing today is something a little different. Now, normally you guys know me. I'm a metalhead. I love to play metal, but we did something different. Now, what are we doing here today? Well, first off, welcome to our other channel. You guys all know us from Tech of Tomorrow. Now we're doing other things over here and uh, rediscovering ourselves and rediscovering you guys as well. So check this out. We'll start off first of all with the guitar that we're using today's video. So this is a 2012 Gibson Les Paul Traditional, but it's been modded out. Right down here, we have a totally different bridge. Now this is a full contact bridge from the people over at Babix. Thank you very much, Jeff Carano. And this thing's really incredible. It actually attaches to the wood of your guitar, making the wood of your guitar have better sustain and better tone all the way around. So fully contacted with your body to add that extra dimension of sound. Now, we've also installed a nice set of pickups, and that's what we're actually here about today. The people over at Lust for Tone are really cool. Now, they're these Irish brothers. They said screw Ireland. I guess they weren't into like the war and stuff, and they came over here to make incredibly awesome pickups. Now, they come in really cool boxes. These little boxes, which I'm going to throw at the camera. He's all preparing himself to you. guys should have seen him. You guys see me from the camera. That was a freaking classic thing. He's all preparing himself like a freaking pitcher at a baseball game. So, but pickups come one in each one of these boxes. They come with all the tone capacitors, everything you need to get up and going. And the ones we're doing today are the Rocket Queens. And these things are incredible handmade pickups. They're about 450 bucks, but they're totally boutique and they're totally awesome. Cameron, think twice. Oh, twice. Oh. They also come in a really cool box. Let me get that right here. Yeah, the Lust Pickups. But these are the Rocket Queens. It has all the things about them all written down here, all their specifications. No exact two are probably totally identical, I don't think. They're all unique to themselves within a little tiny little bit of, you know, room to fudge there. So let's toss those as well. Kabloom! Oh, and he dropped it! I guess, you know, in baseball, they, give they, cut, they cut those points out, right? All right. So check this out. You guys have previously met my guitar player and friend, Jesse Hunter. Well, me and him have been working on a song called A Taste of Honey. And in this song, we actually use the Rocket Queens to do our recording. And it's not metal at all. It's more of a jazzy type song. It's still a little bit in the making, but we have enough down and everything to show you guys how the actual pickups sound. So we're going to show you the pickups in a song. We'll show you them isolated and just what they really sound like. Now, like I said, this isn't metal, so for those people out there expecting our normal metal, well, you're in for a treat because a taste of honey is not metal. And with that said, let's jump in, let's hear the song, and let's hear those Rocket Queens. In today's video, we're actually going to be showing you both the rhythm and lead tracks and how they were played using the different pickups. Let's first off start off with the neck pickup and see what it sounds like. Now let's hear the neck pickup isolated so you can hear just the beauty of the Rocket Queen. Now let's hear the alternate rhythm track using the center position. And last but not least, let's hear that bridge pickup and let's hear that sizzling lead that Jesse belted out. Here.
All right, friends, thanks for watching the channel. We appreciate you being here. Like usual, we welcome all your comments down below. We love you guys. We want to hear what you have to say. For those people interested in buying some of these pickups or getting themselves a Bapic Braves, or if you're looking to get yourself a guitar like this one, we will have links down below that like button where you guys can check out all this gear for yourself. And if you're looking to hop onto it, then hey, you can get some and sound awesome too. Once again, thanks to the brothers over there at Lust for Tone, and thanks Jeff Carano from Bapic Bridge for providing today products. We love you guys. Hope to see you guys back here on our channel soon. For those of you who are interested in our recording chain, we started off using a Monster Studio cable. We ran this into our Axe FX2. I used a modified version of a setting called Energy Ball. I modified this to have a little bit more bass and a little bit more treble. I think it sounds really awesome. And to record everything, we use my iMac and we use Logic 10.